Fuyo, 6 million subscriber. Thank you to all my niece and nephew. And as promised, today, Uncle Roger gonna make pho. This my good friend, Auntie Tui. She the boss of my favorite Vietnamese restaurant in London, Little Weird Kitchen. I like your restaurant. You do, that's good. Yeah, but why it not open? So we didn't open because I had a baby and You're, he's really oh. cute. It's really hard to get chefs. You want your baby to come work here? Good, it's good. free labour. It's Asian thing, isn't it? Yeah, correct. <laughs> American chef mess up fur. British chef mess up fur also. So today we're gonna show them how it's done. <laughs> Uncle Roger, I know the traditional recipe for pho, but the reason Uncle Roger here with Auntie Tui today is because she has family secret pho recipe. Uncle Roger trying to learn. First step, we toast spices. Coriander seed, star anise, fennel, cardamom pot, cinnamon. You did your homework. Of course. That's good. I'm filming with the master clove. Stir it around until it smells fragrant. You want it to be slightly golden. But this is wok. My Uncle Roger see wok. I just want to do wok toss. Can I wok toss? Auntie no, Tui? this is a Vietnamese kitchen. Everything Hi. is calm. <laughs> This is how Uncle Gordon tossed his fried rice in Indonesia. See? Full of flavour. You just made my ancestors cry. No, I didn't. You did! I know some spice fall on floor, but that means your floor now more flavourful than all of Jamie <coughs> Oliver restaurant. Emotional damage! Mmm, starting to smell fragrant. When done, pour into plate and then put into strainer. Western chefs sometimes forget to do this and it's actually easier when you do this so when you take it out, you don't have to strain the whole pot. We take white people's shit and make it better. That the whole theme of Vietnamese food, correct? <laughs> now you're so mean! I'm not mean! You're so mean to Westerners! You know who mean? French people who take over your country. That mean? Fuyo! Mmm... This is how you tea back Uncle Roger. <laughs> Subscribe to Uncle Roger only fan. Now we char onion and ginger. Uncle Roger never see green fire before. That's because this cook is broken. Don't give a shit about safety regulation. This whole <laughs> restaurant, fire hazard. Uncle Roger like authentic Vietnamese restaurant. Remember to char your ginger also. Same thing. That's why you must use gas stove. Cannot use induction stove, niece and nephew. How to do this with induction yeah. stove? You just put on the black plastic. Hi, uh, so not satisfying. Pho noodles means it's made in a specific shape, so it's made for pho. It's flat rice noodles. Next step, you soak the noodle for 30 to 45 minutes. Auntie Tui, I like your restaurant decoration Thank also. You. Why so many chandelier? Ambience. Ambience. Romantic, yeah. You, you don't know what romance is. I'm sorry, really don't deep. know. No. That a dirty just... word, nobody cares. <laughs> Straight to pounding. Yeah, you just skip go. the dining, the charming bit. Yeah, we, we efficient. Right. Four play is waste of no, time. No, you're cheap. Look at your ceiling. Yeah. Why the floor on there? We were expecting lots of Australians to come. Ah, yeah, funny. You like ah, that? Very yeah, good. did you get that camera? Very good. Yeah, very I know, good. I know. Come for the first day for the joke. <laughs> Fuyo, time for the meat. Look at this. I like you, Auntie <laughs> Tui. You hate vegan people also. <laughs> How many cow you kill? How you make vegan fur? Is it possible? Yes, it is. How? It is using vegetables instead of a cow. Uh, it's yeah. delicious. Vegan fur is delicious it's too. It's so sad. Don't <laughs> give them terrible Look, idea. The good side is it doesn't take eight hours to make vegan fur. Yeah, because nobody wants to make vegan food. We don't give a shit. We half ass it. That will only take three hours. We have bone marrow, flank, beef brisket on bone, oxtail, shin. All this traditional pho ingredient. But this is something special. This is your family secret, correct? LVK's signature, so yes. So it's a beef short rib. It's a favourite cut of mine. So I added that one seven years ago and you guys loved it. Trust yeah. me, Uncle Roger tried before. Mm, it's so good. good, good. See? It's like the beef talking to them. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is beef. Thank you for killing me. Now we have to bring all the meat, wash it and give it massage. You don't want your broth to look cloudy. Throw them all into cold water. Salt. Professional. Squeeze the lemon. And now you want to give the meat nice massage. To give good massage, I just imagine this is Auntie Esther. <laughs> Poor Esther. 
Y yeah, I've heard of Auntie Esther. I feel bad for her. Why do you feel bad for her? Well, I think you're probably parked outside her apartment and she doesn't know. Is that what people who are in love do? You buy binocular and they stand in bushes. That how you show love to people nowadays? I know you're married to your husband so long now, he don't do this romantic gesture anymore. Now we go to the next step of cleaning meat. This time he cleaned the meat from inside using the hot water. So you want to use the power of the water to push out all the gunk. That's how you make clean broth. Yeah. It's actually a key... Don't scare. <laughs> you professional scare, you scare water. Hiya. If you therapeutic to watch it, mm. go up as well. Uncle Roger feel like I won with the this world. This is like a spa, isn't it? It's like a lesson with a spa. I don't know what kind of spa you're going to. <laughs> you have to handle meat and bone. Now when all the scum out, time to put the spice in. So now push it, make sure it goes in. Yeah, I know. That one my ex-wife always tell me. <laughs> Sorry, children. I push it, it always go in. That's what you think. <laughs> Remember the char onion we have? We peel the skin and then put it in your broth also. And the char ginger. So the secret recipe for our family is the daikon. Now it's not traditional, but actually my grandma uses this so that she believes that it clears the broth. At the same time, it's actually releasing sweetness. People sometimes use a carrot to release sweetness, but then it makes the broth quite orange. Auntie Tui, I think you're forgetting one important spice. What is it? The king of flavour, MSG Fuyo. Just for this time for you. What, you usually don't have MSG? No. Hiya, why everybody in Vietnam use this? But there's so much flavour in here already. Flavour is like money. More always better. Oh my god! Too much pleasure. Mmm. Mmm. You want some? Try, try, <laughs> try. Mmm. Looks so good. Next, rock sugar. Fish sauce, very important ingredient. Salt. Throw some to camera guy. Camera guy need more flavour also. Here. Ooh. I'm locking the doors. Ooh. He's so cleaning that. <laughs> now we wait for five hours. While you wait for the broth to cook, time to slice your beef. Remember, fur beef needs to be very thin because we cook the beef with the heat of the broth. Don't be like Rachel Ray, her beef thicker than Lizzo. How to eat? Thin sliced beef and then you do this to flatten it more. See? Looks so good. Fuyo, Auntie Tui got book I also. Know. Is the fur recipe in here? Yes, it is. This book mostly picture for children. <laughs> I came to England when I was seven years old. It was either mum cooking it or that's it. So I hope that this book, people will buy it if they want to learn how to cook Vietnamese or cook dishes that their mum cooked for them and their mum, sadly, won't be there all the time. You know, she one day she won't be there. Just buy this book. It <laughs> reminds you of your mum's death. <laughs> just buy. No, I, I'm just saying. What you say? No, this is book one. It's authentic recipe. You got second I book have... for your father's dying. <laughs> this woman, all about oh your parents dying. This one. Your parents. Can you stop touching my book like that? I'm really what? uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't like my caressing of your book. No, no, I don't. The, the ink. Uncle vegetable. Nick always sexually harassed vegetables. Yep, so now you books. He's the Harvey Weinstein of Tesco. <laughs> Five hours later. Remove all the vegetables. Be very gentle, be careful. The prof smell very good right, now. Can you see that? See what? Like the steam? Yeah. The drama. It's just steam. <laughs> Hi, uh, you never the see smell steam it. before? The aromatics, everything's coming through. Mm. So that's what you've been spending all your time for? I smell all the MSG in here. You know what MSG stands for? Make shit good. <laughs> mm. Look at that. Mm. That's beautiful. Can you see it's gold? It's brown? <laughs> Where got gold? It's gold. Look! Someone the, the colour fat. blind? The natural fat. Nisa and nephew, tell me if this brown or gold? <laughs> no, it's gold. Okay, okay. It's gold if you do it right. And it's clear. 
It looks very good. It looks yeah. very good. But the proof is in the taste. Mmm. Good. Mmm. Sweet and salty and meaty. Mmm. <laughs> It's all because of your MSG. Yeah, and also a little bit because of your work. The rest of the fur come together super fast. Cook noodle for just two seconds. Mm, this sound remind me of something. Do you know this sound? Yo, your mind is so clean. And then cook beans, bro. Now plate everything together. And we cook the beef with our beautiful broth. Sorry, Uncle Roger spilled a bit. I fucked up. Hiya. Fuyo, niece and nephew, if you want to eat this, I know Auntie Tui restaurant, not open yet. But until it fully open, you can get Auntie Tui fur online on dishpatch.co.uk. And for all my niece and nephew, we get 20% off by using code Uncle Roger, LVK. All link in description. Go click link now. Just so you know, Uncle Roger don't get any commission from this. I just <laughs> helping out good friend who Thank make you. good food. The meat cook perfectly. It's still a bit pink. I think you should hold the whole bowl. I knew you could do it. Mmm. <laughs> Listen, nephew. Thank you for six million. Yeah, but why it not open? It's not open because. <laughs> Why is it not open? Why did you do the boss? Um, Just be honest, it's okay. <laughs> Say from your heart, our niece and nephew. Okay, I'm lazy. You lazy. Look, okay. It was so good. I got to sit on my ass all day. My uncle wants to say, be real. Don't be that real. Okay. That too real. <laughs> niece and nephew, don't come to this restaurant because it's not open yet. Wait, 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 wait. Is, are you recording all this? Yeah, everything's running. Oh! Everything running. Right, so everything's just running. Yeah. I don't know. There's no script. Okay. So you can get this at Dispatch. Dispatch. So you can get this at Dispatch. .co.uk. Now I can't say it because you've said that. <laughs> okay. See? So now you can get this. Uh, so you can get this at Dish. See, not dispatch. easy. Not easy. Be on camera. Oh, not foreign. easy. Okay. Is it? Well, dish. Patch. You in UK Done. learn to speak English. Oh my Auntie god. I... <laughs> Come on, beef. Don't let me down. Let me slice you up properly. Don't let me down. The thing. Got the... it. Nice and thin. Yes. Read it. Slow. Don't, don't, don't. Don't rush. Don't, don't, don't pressure me. You rushed no. it right at the end. You keep talking. You got you it. Keep... You had it. We try again, we try again. 